Hey guys, what's up? It's I, Jim, and I'm here with another mod spotlight for you guys. Today's mod spotlight is on the Big Trees mod. So this is why I am, excuse me, <clears throat> this is why I'm underground. Because the trees are up there and I didn't want to show you them. So I was like, you know what, I'll dig a hole. <laughs> so I'm going to go ahead and fly up. And I didn't want you to see that either. Um, as you can see, there's roots. Um, these trees are humongous. Uh, like, okay, this is the forest floor, basically. And if we look up, we've got a good four to five block area um, of just huge trees. Um, and then above that, the trees go even bigger. So I'm just kind of looking around. I actually want to check something. Okay, we're on normal. Uh, I just kind of wanted to see whether or not monsters would spawn under here. I'm assuming once it becomes nighttime, all hell breaks loose through here. This mod is epic. Um, unfortunately, it's not compatible with extra biomes at the moment, so there's no way for me to use this, or I would be using it. Like, look at this. This is just crazy. I know the generation on it looks kind of, like, somewhat a bit stupid. Some, like, this one's kind of, eh, it's all right, but um, just, like, if you fly up top here, uh, you can just look through these. It, this is like, you can make the world's sweetest treehouse. Um, and then uh, I, I just wanted to kind of show you like one or two quick other things. Like here is another type of tree. There's a couple different types of trees. In the desert, they actually have these dead trees, just like so. And then if we fly out here, you can see a couple more of them. And then if you go, um, I'm going to try and find a snow biome for you as well. Um, but I'm not seeing them. Uh, I want to find a ravine as well because the ravines they if they if you find a ravine buy one they actually um, like the roots go into the ravine it's pretty cool looking um, but it looks like these trees are just humongous Jesus I love this mod uh, I, I'm a, I'm a fan of mods that alter Minecraft but not with dumb textures. Um, I know it sounds stupid, but it's really hard for me to do mod reviews most of the time because most of the mod reviews that people are mods that people make, the uh, game textures that they make for the mod is completely awful. Like over here, there's a lot of tall trees, but there's not a lot of leaves. And uh, this is pretty cool looking. Um, anyways, I was kind of hoping to find a ravine. We might be able to find one over here. Actually, let's see if we can't find any roots. So there might be some down here, but I doubt it. Okay, I just was just kind of curious. I don't think the tree's close enough for me to find one. Um, okay, we'll keep flying this way then. I just want to kind of show you guys all of these. This is pretty cool looking. By the way, this mod is compatible with timber. So uh, if you want about 400 pieces of wood in one second, you're good to go. <laughs> um, now, like I said, uh, there is a list of incompatible mods that is uh, with, uh, so he's trying to make it to work with extra biomes. Um, now, I'm not going to give this mod a 10 out of 10, um, based on the fact that some of these trees over here, I'm not, I don't really like them too much. Um, they're, I wish they kind of had more leaves on them, like something like these. Uh, but, like, I mean, this is this is decent looking. Like, I would kind of wish he had more, like, generated more leaves on those. Um, other than that, I mean, it's fine. So as far as an overall mod rating for this, I'm probably going to give it a 7 to 8 out of 10. Probably going to go with the 7. Um, I haven't been able to find any uh, ravines yet, so uh, the mod review might change when I'm done. I don't know. We're going to go ahead and generate a new world real fast. Um, there we go. Creative... And uh, if you have a slow computer, it might take your world a bit to generate. But uh, having a gaming PC, you're just fine. So I w you shouldn't have to worry about it too much. So this is pretty damn cool. Hey, there's a creeper. I kind of figured that there would be a lot of monsters spawning in these because of the darkness. What up, creeper? But look, like you could make like the world's pretty much Swedish treehouse of all time ever. Oh, it's super laggy right now. Alright, I'm kind of curious. I want to see actually how far this goes in. Damn. Make it to where it goes underground and shit. That's pretty cool, man. I wonder how if it goes any further. Damn. That goes... Holy shit. 
We'll see if there's any more. So the trees, not only do they go tall, they go uh, down as well. So overall, this is a very fun mod. Makes some pretty cool buildings out of this mod. Uh, pretty cool tree houses. Um, so like I said, I think I'm gonna go ahead and stick with the seven out of 10 rating for this mod. Pretty cool, could use a little bit of, uh, looks like his kind of coding got a bit sloppy towards the end. He's like, yeah, I'm just gonna like make this appear and not have any leaves on it at all. But other than that, I mean, it's a fantastic mod and I, I like it a lot. I would definitely use it if I wasn't using extra biomes because extra biomes just blows, is one of the best mods I've seen in a long time. Uh, beware of the monsters that spawn because there are a lot of them. And uh, yeah, so um, I really haven't seen any skeletons or anything, you know, that was kind of weird, but. Over here, these are the most, I think I like these the best, I think. I'm not sure, it's kind of hard to tell. Uh, picking the tree, ooh, it's laggy. Uh, obviously the swamp biome is where it's at because these trees are freaking, what the hell? World's tallest single tree, so <laughs> this mod could use a tiny bit of work. I, I'm not one to talk because I don't know how to do anything like that, but I'm going to stick with the 7 out of 10 rating. And uh, yeah, guys, so I hope you enjoyed this mod review. If you have any mods you want me to review, leave a comment below. Um, I will If I pick yours, and I'll give you a little bit of shout out for giving me the uh, idea to review it. And uh, yeah, guys, so uh, don't forget to leave a rating below as it shows support in my channel. And uh, yeah, this is iJevin. Peace.